Hi there guys, lovely to be with you all again today. It's Thursday, the 1st of March, still quite mild, though dull today. Hope you've had a good day. The week's nearly over, you'll be looking forward to the weekend. I hope today was good for you anyway, the beginning of a new month. I don't know what kinds of struggles you're having in your life at the moment, but we're going to be looking at a wee passage today. 2 Kings chapter 4 in the Old Testament just to show that God cares for each one of us no matter how small we are in the eyes of other people or in the community or in our own eyes just ordinary men and women fellas and girls but God loves us and he cares about all our struggles and whatever you're going through today, God is with you. And he wants to do a miracle for you. He wants you to trust in him and to believe in him. Whatever you're going through, he wants you to know that he will bring you through. Our story today is about a widow, a poor widow. Her husband had died, obviously, and he had been a prophet in the school of Elisha the prophet. Elisha is a very famous prophet in the Old Testament. There were two, Elijah and Elisha. Elisha was the second one, Elijah's successor. That's a bit of a tongue twister but here we have Elisha. He was the prophet and he had a school of prophets, a bit like a Bible school where students go to learn more about the Bible today. Elisha had young men that he trained and taught so that they could do the work of God as well as himself. It's always good for a mature Christian even today to teach younger men and women so that they can in turn teach others about the lovely Lord Jesus. And so here we have this man who died. He loved the Lord and he'd left a widow. She had two sons and she comes crying out, pleading to Elisha one day. She says, my husband, your servant is dead and I'm left with my two sons and now my husband's creditor is coming and he wants to take my two sons away as his slaves to pay my debt. This lady had gotten into financial difficulty and in those days her children could have been taken away as payment for the debt. And Elisha says, well what can I do to help you? What have you got in your house? She says, well I've got nothing except a little oil. Elisha says, go and borrow from your neighbours as many jars and pots as you can and go into the house and shut the door and start pouring the oil into the jars. That was quite an unusual request, wasn't it? But she did what Elisha said. She and her sons, they went round, borrowed as many jars as they could. And they went into the house and they shut the door and she started pouring out that little bit of oil that she had, pouring it into the jars and as she poured it just kept on flowing she filled one jar and then another jar and then another it was just a miracle that God was doing she said to her son bring me another jar and he said mum we've no more jars left they're all full and then the oil stopped flowing and she ran to tell Elisha what had happened. And he said to her, go and sell the oil and pay off your debt. And you and your sons can live on what is left. And so isn't that a lovely, lovely story of how God loved and cared for that poor widow and her two sons. He wasn't going to allow that family to be broken up. Hey guys, I don't know what kind of a difficulty you might find yourself in today. 
I don't know what your struggle might be. Maybe you're struggling with a particular subject at school. Maybe you think you're never going to get this exam. You're never going to succeed in this. Well, I want to tell you, God, God will help you. If you get down to it and do your best, God will bring you through. I believe that with all my heart. Maybe you can't sleep at night. Maybe you're struggling with a very, very difficult relationship. Maybe it's your finances. Maybe you're desperately in need of funds to come in. Maybe you're struggling with a health problem. Maybe you have to go to the doctor or the hospital and you're really quite frightened. I want to tell you that God, God can help you. He can do a miracle for you in your finances, in your relationships, in your health. Trust him. Come to him. Sometimes, you know, prayer is the very last thing that we do. Maybe you've lost someone that you really love. Maybe you think, I'll never get through this. Maybe everything is going wrong in your life at the moment. Maybe you've been suicidal, total despair. You think, I'll never get through. I want to tell you emphatically, you will get through this. God will see to that. Just trust him. Put your hand in the hand of Jesus. And the hand of Jesus has a nail wound in it where he suffered and died for you. And he died and he rose again. And that means there's hope. That means there's life. That means there's light. And I want to tell you, whatever it is you're going through, yes, it's too big for you. And maybe too big for your friends. Maybe they've left you on your own with this struggle. But I want to tell you today, it's not too big for God. Because there's nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. There's nothing that he cannot do. And God is willing and God is able to do a miracle for you today. He's not brought you to this point to down you. But he's going to lift you right up. Trust in him today. That poor lady was at her wit's end. Her sons were going to be taken away. She had no money. But God did a miracle with the little that she had. You've just got a little bit left today. A little, a little strength. A little courage. A little money. A little faith. Let God take that little and multiply it into something really, really wonderful. I want to tell you that God will bring you through. So just look around today. What do you have in your house? That's what Elisha said to her. What do you have in your house? She says, well, I've nothing. Then she remembered, but I've got a wee drop of oil. And God used that to bring her great blessing. So just look around. We, we him says, count your blessings. Look around, see what you do have. Thank God for it. And commit it into his hands. Let him multiply it. And bring you joy. And bring you peace. Bring you strength. Bring you hope. Bring you faith. Today. And I want to tell you. That you are going to succeed. Because God is for you. And if God is for us. Who can be against us? Trix and I love you all very, very much. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye for now. What can wash the way I